Hello everybody, how is your Sunday going? I am back today to talk about lucky number 13 in Russell Brunson's Traffic Secrets, which is all about YouTube today, which of course is one of my favorites. Before we get into today's video, you guys have seven more days to take advantage of this crazy offer at jacksbonuses.com. Go there now to get your free copy of Traffic Secrets, absolutely free, and guys, you can have more than one copy of Traffic Secrets. And by the way, guys, I've sweetened the pot for every book that you get and also how many times you share. If you go to the page right now, I have a contest for over $15,000 worth of prizes. If you share, you can get multiple entries into that, not just by buying books, sometimes it's just by sharing the link or posting about it on your Facebook or Twitter or whatever. So you have multiple ways you can get entries to win. So even if you've already gotten your book, you can go there now and get more entries into the contest. Guys, I am towing the line for uh, Russell's top 10 for his contest for who can uh, get the most books in the most hands. So I know I have the best bonuses. So all you have to do is go to jacksbonuses.com to get all of them and the book absolutely free. Oh, what's that? You want a reminder of what the bonuses are? Okay, here you go. You can get my Indoctrination Engine Content Pillars course. This is a live presentation that I did for Russell Brunson's Inner Circle. My Story Inventory System, my Thought Leader Roadmap, my Video Scripting Structure Templates, my Ready, Set, Launch Masterclass, 12 Ways to Monetize YouTube Training, and a ticket to my live event happening later in 2020. And just by using Jack's bonuses to get your copy of Traffic Secrets, you'll automatically be entered to win over $15,000 worth of prizes. And again, guys, we just sweetened the pot. You can get multiple entries for multiple books. You can also get more entries for like sharing the page using the share link that's on that page. So be sure to go there. Um, the prizes are things like coaching call or breakthrough strategy sessions with me up to hundred dollars cash, free admission to my 21 day infinite video impact challenge, a swag box, a scholarship to my video scaling system program, a pair of AirPods, an iPad mini, or a YouTube channel audit. Just go to jacksbonuses.com right now to get your copy of traffic secrets and all the bonuses, no strings attached. All right, let's talk YouTube. Here's why I love this platform, and I'm so glad Russell mentioned this right at the start of the chapter. YouTube is the only platform where you can create something, post it online, and it will actually grow exponentially over time. So we have every reason to spend more time producing videos that will serve us and our audiences for the rest of our lives and beyond. These videos serve as omnipresent assets for our businesses. The thing is though, they do take time. And if you wanna make the content creation process way more efficient, either head to infiniteimpactchallenge.com now or stay tuned to the end of this video where I'll talk more about my challenge. But let's run through YouTube through the fill your funnel framework, starting with step one, which we've been talking about for the last few days, is about identifying the history and the goal of the platform. So here's a big misconception. So many people consider YouTube to be a social media platform due to its focus on engagement and subscribers. But the truth is, you ready, ready to hear this? YouTube is a search engine. And not just any search engine, YouTube is the world's largest video search engine, second largest search engine in the world, owned by the first biggest, which is our friend Google. So in case you need a refresher on these insane stats, one billion hours of video are watched on YouTube every single day. Uh, on the creation side, over 400 hours of YouTube are or a video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. Like I can't even wrap my mind around that. Okay, now it's time to find your dream 100 on this platform. So Russell says to create two dream 100 lists, one with the names of people and brands and influencers you'd like to target, and another with the keyword phrases you'd like to create videos around. Step three in the, in the framework is to identify your publishing strategy and create your publishing plan. So like Google, the way to win at YouTube is to figure out ways to create and post videos that are in alignment with how they want the videos to be posted. So the best way to do that is through your own market research, monitoring your Dream 100's video choices and their titles and their tags and descriptions and so on. So what trends are they following? How does their strategy seem to change over time? And then your publishing plan includes your channel setup. So you'll just, excuse me, I'm hiccuping. Um, you'll decide on a name for your channel, an about page, um, channel art, what, or what Russell calls like the header image for your channel, um, your profile image, your channel trailer, and so on. Um, your channel trailer, by the way, shouldn't be longer than like two minutes, but should serve as an introduction to what your channel is and when viewers can expect new videos and end with an invitation for viewers to subscribe. Before you even get started with uploading, identify your dream keywords that you want to earn traffic for. So Russell made a point of recommending the ABC hack, which I've talked about in my programs, we actually call it the Scrabble method. So the Scrabble method or ABC um, is when you search for your dream keyword like video marketing and then, for example, and then you'd add in an A and then see what comes up, B, see what comes up. And then like, you know when, when it tries to like finish your sentence when you're typing something into search? So that way you'll get a massive list of video ideas when you're searching and then you just, see what else comes up for like different letters. Does that make sense? Um, when it comes time to start actually uploading content to your channel, Russell focuses on two types of videos. 
discoverable videos that are based on keyword phrases that hook people in and turn them into subscribers, and two, video webinars which build a stronger relationship with the current subscribers. And while the actual quality of your video is important, so is the metadata associated with it. So your metadata refers to the video title, uh, your description, your tags, and your thumbnail. And your thumbnail is a really important one because it has a huge impact on your click-through rate. So your thumbnail should be eye-catching without being clickbaiting. Like I actually think the best thumbnails are the ones that you click without even reading the title of the video because you already know what it's about and you're also intrigued immediately. Speaking of click-through rate, this is one of the metrics worth monitoring. So obviously there's a ton of analytics that you can dive into on YouTube, but knowing how many people are actually clicking on your video is really important. So Russell also tracks the initial retention rate or how many people watch the first minute of the video, as well as the overall retention rate, which means how long people are watching the video or whether they're skipping through to our uh, particular point in the video. We could spend forever digging into the details here, but one major thing that Russell brings up is the binge watching YouTube hack. So basically the longer you can keep a viewer engaged with your videos on your channel, the more that YouTube will favor your content and recommend new people to it. So by creating YouTube playlists or creating a series of some kind, people are more likely to stay on your channel longer and watch multiple videos in one session. Um, next in the fill your funnel framework, it's also hard saying that 10 times fast, is working your way in. So by doing your SEO and keyword research and maybe even collaborating with other creators. Um, step five is to buy your way in. You could ask people if you can pay them to put your links in their descriptions, you can pay them to create a video and post it on their channel for you, or you can pay them to let you put a playlist with a video series on their channel. Uh, and then step six is to fill your funnel. Each video you post is extending your, um, your reach and if you optimize it correctly, your videos will become omnipresent and drive impact and profit and traffic for you for the rest of your life. So focus on creating discoverable content, then use paid ads to place your ads on top of the other videos that are ranked for your dream keywords and the videos of your dream 100. So um, put out prospecting ads to hook dream clients and then move them into the retargeting buckets where they turn into traffic that we own and then ascend them up our value ladder. Okay, so I mentioned the challenge earlier. If there was ever a chapter in this book to bring up, it's this one. If you guys want to take advantage of the amazing opportunities that are out there with YouTube, if you want to learn this platform inside out and start ma driving massive impact and profit through video, join the infinite video impact army today by going to infiniteimpactchallenge.com. It's a 21 day challenge. It's going to completely transform the way you think about video. And plus, if you haven't gone to jacksbonuses.com and gotten your free book, the bonuses and entered for all the potential prizes, jump on it. This isn't going to last forever. And especially since we're all stuck inside right now, this is a great way to connect and take that next step with your business. All right. Um, and again, you can get multiple entries. Uh, you'll see the contest that we have on the page. So you can get multiple entries for the contest and there's so many prizes. It's almost like, it's not just like, will you win? It's what will you win? There's so many prizes. You have really good chances. All right. That's all for today. Have a great Sunday. I will see you tomorrow for secret number 14, which is called after the slaps and after the snaps. What does that mean? Find out tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. Love your faces. Love your existence. Goodbye.